following on from what Marcia has said, we'll now move into a discussion of some of the many strategies that would be used to implement our proposed change in order to reduce the prevalence of alcohol misuse in our society. So one of the main research findings presented the idea that by changing or implementing new public health policies regarding alcohol use has found to be the most effective in changing an individual's idea about alcohol and the health complications that can stem from its overuse. Although this is a population level intervention, it has been found that there are risks attached to focusing on individual behaviours and victim blaming instead of addressing the structural causes of ill health. So community action strategies such as policy change are an important way of addressing alcohol related harm without purely laming, um, sorry, laying all the blame on the individual. So regulation and restriction of sales, increase server liability, increase alcohol taxes and lower blood alcohol limits are some of the policy areas which have been shown to be effective in reducing alcohol related harm in the past. Healthy public policy affects the entire population directly or indirectly and nurses have a key role in informing and advocating on behalf of clients, families, the broader community and in also promoting effective public policy. So another implementation strategy which focuses, um, focuses more on a healthcare provider or agency scale is the implementation of a simple questionnaire that can be done in both a formal or an informal setting. So this questionnaire can be tailored to the individual. So for example, the first question may ask, have you had more than five drinks in one setting in the past month? So this gives an idea if the patient is at risk of misusing alcohol or if they, sorry, or if they are already misusing alcohol. And further questions may follow on from this. Therefore, it can be used as both an intervention or a prevention tool. This strategy is not designed to be a comprehensive assessment. Um, it's more so um, designed to be used as a screening tool and used to flag an individual who may be at risk. So current best practice advises to implement such screening tools um, as this into actual clinical assessments. So it's been found to be extremely successful when incorporated into other assessments, such as you know, removing sutures or just doing blood pressures. You can actually talk to the patient then and ask them questions. So the flexibility that this strategy takes into consideration the time constraints that most health professionals are under. Another strategy would be that um, which would reach the wider community is that of a TV ad campaign and bigger and more obvious health warning labels on the back of alcohol bottles, um, things that Marcia has previously discussed. So the effectiveness of the change um, in practice will be measured through a number of ways. So qualitative results will be considered in collaboration with quantitative results to ensure that the most accurate results collected um, when determining the effectiveness of our proposed change. So patient reported outcome measures will be incorporated into this approach, um, which will be measured through the implementation of surveys. So for example, has an individual's opinions or understanding of alcohol changed? How do they feel about alcohol and its importance in society? And so on. So this will ensure that patients are the focus of the, implement, sorry, the implementation and practice change. This provides a more holistic view of the outcomes associated with our proposed change, rather than simply, see, um, sorry, simply focusing on quantitative results such as a reduction in um, alcohol-related hospitalizations. So another way to evaluate the effectiveness is through the results of an audit. So by undertaking an audit pre-intervention, gathering those results, actually implementing the event, um, intervention, then conducting another audit post this implementation and then gathering those results will allow us to compare the two to see what was effective and also to see what was ineffective. So by obtaining the results, it will pave the way for a systematic review of the research to be undertaken, which will again further develop um, our previously mentioned strategies. So given the nature of this proposed practice change, longitudinal research studies will be the best to dem um, will best demonstrate if the implementation has been effective or not, even that results may not be seen for a number of years once the practice changes have been implemented. So this may be demonstrated by a reduction in the number of reported binge drinkers or a reduction in the number of alcohol induced hospitalizations. Um, so thank you for listening and that's the end of our presentation. using Powtoon.